I uh, I started listening to him a little bit in in the last year after not listening for I for a really long time. I never was a regular listener of Howard Stern, uh, but his interviews are decent. But he changes his whole whole personality when he interviews someone, which I find really strange. And then, like, I'll t- I'll tell you, I said this recently. Like, when Howard just turns on a mic and talks to Robin about what's going on in his life, I like that a lot. It's really interesting. But then he has to still do all that shock jock crap that uh, is not special anymore, and that's what makes me turn it off immediately. And then some of the some, and then some of the interviews when he has to change his voice and like he lowers his voice to try. Oh, to, he modulates so horribly. It's I so mean, weird. He's like, a completely different animal from from what he used to be. Yes, yes, John, regular fifteen right. k. Oh, that's what it was. I reported on his granddaughter. That's what it was. So wait, they got mad at that. Uh, well, yeah, because <laughs> I, you know. I showed a picture of his his granddaughter from his daughter's Instagram, but I put a wig on it and it was really cute. I put like a big Howard Stern wig on it. Yes, of course. And um, we thought it was funny, um, but him not so much. So the, the whole, the, the entirety of the the Stern show blocked me on on Twitter and on Instagram, and then it became more fun. Look, the problem I have with Howard is really, really simple. He never fought his battles with us on the air. It was all behind the scenes crap, and he made our lives a living hell. And that's why, to this day, it's hard for me to let it go. Um, you know, I told a story recently that we killed on Letterman. It was more Anthony. Anthony killed on Letterman, let's be honest. But I was there as part of it. And uh, and the producers and everybody ran to us immediately. They're like, that was awesome. We want to start using you guys on, on this show. Like, maybe you can become sort of semi-regulars when we need a guest. If someone cancels or something, you guys are local. We could put you on. Dave loved it. And then we never heard from the, the Letterman camp again. And then someone that I, I, I don't mention his name because he would get really nervous. But it was told to me that, uh, you know, that that we were banned from Letterman because Howard made a call behind the scenes. That's the crap he used to do. He because he can. It's very passive aggressive. He loves to say he doesn't fire anybody. He's the, the most honest man in show business. But he's really not. Honestly, it's a hacky it's a, zoo show at best. It's honestly a damn shame. Well, he was always a zoo guy. I, I, you know, when you really study radio, Howard Stern was always a zoo guy with a bit of an edge. Yeah, he I think a lot right. of the same zooey stuff, but he had uh, an edge to it. That's what made him special at the time. But he, he was always in that genre of uh, radio guys. What does Howard say he talks to? I don't. I don't think Howard. Howard's not even talking to a million people. You know that, right? I absolutely think it's somewhere around 700,000 people a week. I, think, I honestly think that's even high, but I mean, now we're just kind of, you know. But we're spitballing up. because I, I don't even yeah. have a, I don't even have a baseline by which to go by. But one time I heard they said he was talking to like 10 or 20 million people. I, I laughed so hard. I mean, yeah. When he had Reggie Jackson on last week, Reggie was in his car coming to the show and I guess the PR person told him, he's like, you know, you're like the Walter Winchell of uh, of radio today. You know, your your voice is so important to so many people. And I was yeah. told on the in the car on the way here that you have tens of millions of, of listeners a week. And we're all like, no, no. I mean, no. look, you know, God bless him, but it, <laughs> it's not true. Sabian said at the peak, Howard had around 600,000 in uh, 2008. See, um, I mean, I, I, I honestly think there was a time he was talking to over a million people, but the number he gives now is just, <laughs> it's not even close. John has a question that he always, you know, we always poo-poo it because I don't believe that it's true. So we'll ask you really quickly. Okay. He, John constantly thinks that um, Howard is a silent partner in Sirius. Well, I mean, if you think about it, he is, right? The amount of money he makes. I mean, he's making more money than the stockholders. Than the CEO? Oh, God, he makes way more money than the CEO. Do you know how much he made last year? Howard? No, uh, what's her face? The new CEO chick. No, I just know the numbers in general. $30 million with her stock options. But Howard makes more than that. I know, I know, I know, I know. 
maybe not officially, but he's technically a partner. If you think about it, if you're making that much money, if you're making way more money than, um, the, you know, the board of directors and the CEO, then, then you have a say in what happens. Then you're technically a, a silent partner, right? 